Today we're talking about that time that America blew up a whale. Yeah. And no, this is not going to be one of those times where a dead whale washes up on the shore, gets all bloated, and somebody pokes it with a stick. Nah. Somebody from the government showed up with a thousand pounds of TNT, stuffed it underneath a dead whale in an effort to either vaporize it and or yeet it back into the ocean. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. But first a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Zydax Custom Gaming PCs. With a lifetime warranty on all parts and labor and all their manufacturing and tech support being based right here in America, it is a gaming PC that I would recommend. And I'll have them linked in the description below. Our story begins in the state of Oregon in 1913. At the time, there were no major highways. Because of this, people treated the coastline and the beaches like they were a giant highway, literally driving their cars and horse-drawn carriages up and down it all the time. Because of this, the governor at the time would declare all the coastline in Oregon from California to Washington as a public highway, which also meant that it was public land. This would set in course a series of events that 57 years later would cause America to try to send the biggest animal on Earth, or at least a chunk of it, into outer space. Now, fast forward to November of 1970, a 45-foot, 16,000 pound whale washes up dead on the coast of Oregon. Obviously, this is a problem. Or as the journalist on site that day described it, a stinking whale of a problem. Yeah, we've got this on tape. So how do you handle such a problem? Well, if you were in California, you would call the California Coastal Commission. If you were in Florida, you would call the Florida Department of Environmental Protections. But because all the beaches in Oregon to this day are still considered highways, they ended up calling the State Highway Division, which is basically a bunch of construction workers. Now, this is some bureaucratic bullshit if I've ever heard it. There was absolutely a different agency that was more equipped to handle this situation, but it was probably a Friday and they didn't want to have to work late. So they pulled the old, well, technically card and sent in the construction workers. And all those guys heard was, you get to go home as soon as the whale is gone, to which they promptly said, get the dynamite, we're going home early. Which is like the ultimate Uno reverse card because they turned this losing scenario into the ultimate win-win scenario. Not only are they going to get to go home early, they're also never going to get told to do this dumb shit again, and they get to be the guys that blew up a whale with dynamite. And the best part is they've got an airtight defense because when you're doing government work Everybody knows that when you don't know what you're doing You just fall back onto your standard operating procedures And what do you do when you're building a road and there's an obstruction in the way like I don't know a mountain you blow it the fuck up. Mountain, whale, potato, potato, get the fucking dynamite, we're doing this. Now, obviously, there's some more common sense solutions that we could have done. Like, I don't know, maybe cut it into smaller pieces or burn it. The head engineer in charge of the construction workers was asked that very question, to which he responded, It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up. And then, of course, there's the obvious question, what if this doesn't work? What if there's still a giant chunk of whale left over? To which he responded, uh, if there's any large chunks left, we may have to do some other cleanup, possibly set another charge. See, this guy knows what's up. It was never a question of whether or not blowing it up would work. The only question there was was how much TNT was it going to take. And if you didn't use enough the first time, double tap. That's accuracy by volume. This is how America was built. Or unbuilt. Whatever. Anyways, let's stop beating around the bush and just show this whale getting blown up. Play the clip. Bet you didn't think you'd see that today, did you? Okay, you just saw that and I just saw that, but let's go ahead and hear what the reporter on the ground had to say about it. With a blast blasted blubber beyond all believable bounds. Dude's got bars. That's fucking poetry. I hope he gets a raise. Now, as I'm sure you noticed, there was giant chunks of meat still falling out of the sky like three seconds after the explosion. Thankfully, however, nobody was actually struck and severely hurt by one of those. However, I think I speak for all of us when I say how much damage would that actually do? Thankfully, as luck would have it, a car a quarter mile away in a parking lot that was empty was struck by one of these meteorites. And here's a clip of it. Of one large chunk, the passenger compartment literally smacked. Fortunately, no human was hit as badly as the car. However, everyone on the scene was covered with small particles of dead whale. Okay, first of all, how are you going to explain that to your insurance? Nobody's going to believe that shit. Secondly, do you know how much fucking force it takes to cave in the roof of a car? Those are reinforced and designed to withstand the rollover of the vehicle. So I think it's safe to say these meat mortars can do damage. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Probably the most significant piece of news to ever come out of the state of Oregon. I mean, the only thing that could make this story better is if this was actually the final level of the Oregon Trail video game growing up. Not only that, it is probably the most significant scientific contribution that the trades industry has ever made. Because these guys just figured out that a 16,000 pound whale can in fact be deleted by a thousand pounds of dynamite. Meaning that we now actually know for sure that it's a 16 to 1 blubber to black powder ratio. This is invaluable information. In conclusion, just so we're all clear on the timeline of significant human events. In 1966, America would make one giant leap for mankind when we created the Mark 19, aka a machine gun that shoots fucking grenades. Then, not knowing where to direct our superior scientific endeavors, we just stole the Soviet's goal of putting a 
man on the moon and did it first to prove a point. That was in 1969. And then we got back to making real scientific contributions to mankind when we figured out how much TNT it took to delete a whale. America. Thank you for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Whale gone. Quack bang out.